Hey everybody, hey Esther, why don't you uh, tell us a little bit about yourself there? Uh, my name is Esther Bartel. I've been in the industry for over uh, 20 plus years. Uh, I've been around for a while. Uh, mostly in end using computing, so a lot of Citrix solutions. Um, and the last couple of years basically working as a freelancer uh, based in uh, the Netherlands, uh, uh, in Europe, uh, doing a lot of uh, designs, implementations and troubleshooting of uh, end user computing environments, uh, both for small companies and uh, large uh, customers as well. Oh, very cool. Well, we seem to be on a run of uh, great representation from uh, the Netherlands. So, um, yeah, Esther, what's the title of the session you'll be presenting at Converge? So the title is uh, Nitro for the win. Uh, for those of you who are maybe not familiar with the term Nitro, Nitro is uh, basically the nickname that we gave the REST API interface of the Citrix ADC. Um, so we named it Nitro, or Citrix named it Nitro, and I just love to be able to say uh, I'm, I'm working with Nitro today and just uh, having this awesome pace in uh, automating uh, configurations and deployments of both ADC and ADM appliances. Cool. What is it that you want our audience members to know about your presentation? So what I love to do is to show you how excited I at least get in um, being able to transform um, daily administrative tasks or simple deployments uh, for Citrix ADC, which is not the most easy appliance to, uh, to understand and to get familiar with, but to able to use that REST API interface to really dive into it and make it a part of your uh, automation strategy. Um, I just love doing that and showing people how easy and in, in very simple and short uh, steps, how you can incorporate it in your automation strategy um, and not just have that appliance sit basically at the edge of your infrastructure. Yeah, I always find there's something very addicting about having that low level api access to a system that you can just make it do your bidding in uh in that kind of way and 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 you know go much more much further than simple use cases you know once you have code involved you can um configure things differently based on different conditions and and so on so from the audience point of view um who are you expecting to get the most out of this session? Is it uh, something for um, coders, maybe building applications, or is it more for kind of admins, scripting, um, repeatable deployments, that kind of thing? Uh, well, I hope basically that uh, Nitro or the REST APIs will be able to bridge the gap between operations and developers. Um, so it will allow developers to also add and include infrastructure as a code uh, within their uh, solutions, while the operation side is getting more familiar with automation and using uh, REST APIs in their uh, solutions and stra daily strategies as well. So I'm hoping to be able to address both. Uh, but I will admit that I'm from an operations background myself. So some of the developer terms like um, taking sourcing into account, making sure that you have your versioning in place, uh, using collaboration tools uh, like GitHub repository, or uh, maybe even using different uh, automation and orchestration tooling. Um, I'm still, I still feel like I'm exploring those options. Um, so maybe it will help some of the administrators a bit more to feel familiar and dive into these technologies. So really bringing development and operations together. I think I've, I've heard a word for that. Have you, Sonny? <laughs> uh, maybe I've, I've called myself a DevOps kind of engineer. <laughs> right. Who knows? Yeah, maybe it'll catch on, who knows? Yeah, <laughs> it might just be a fling. <laughs> right. 
Awesome. So your search sounds great. And then uh, I'm sure there's going to be plenty of questions. So you'll be available on Slack to answer a few questions uh, pertaining to your session. Oh, definitely. I'm always happy to share my contact information um, because I feel it's very important, especially being a, a Citrix technology professional, to give back to the community. Uh, so if there are any questions, even um, after the session, uh, maybe a week later, where you kind of started working with it and um, you feel you're you're stuck at some of the things that maybe I didn't explain as clearly as uh, I should, uh, feel always feel free to reach out to me through social media or any of the other contact uh, channels. And that's why we love our CTPs. So, I just had to make sure that I put that <laughs> shout out for the, for those. So uh, that's that's just uh, fabulous, Esther. Well, thank you so much for that preview. And I guess the last thing I have to do is to uh, let you know that if you want to uh, get access to those sessions, to be able to get into Slack, to uh, ask questions of Esther and the other presenters, the most important thing you need to do is to register at the link just under the video here. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.